What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here with a tutorial on how to fix blank desktop icons like the ones you see right here on your Windows 10 PC. Now in this video I'll be showing two different methods, both of which have the same results. The first method involves the file explorer, and the second method, which is a little bit faster, uses the command prompt. So for the first method, before we even open file explorer, we are going to have to change some settings so we can see all of our files. So head down to your search bar and type file explorer. The second option should be file explorer options. Click on to that and it'll open up this window right here. Head over to view, down to hidden files and folders, and be sure that show hidden files, folders, and drives is selected. Once you've done that, click OK and it'll close out of the window. Now we can head down to file explorer and then here go up to the address bar right here and exit out of whatever you have already and then copy and paste the address I have in the description down below. This will take us to the local folder of app data. Once we are in here, scroll all the way down to the bottom and there should be a file labeled icon cache. Right click onto it and delete it and then close out of the file explorer. Now open up task manager and in here there should be an application called file explorer. Right click onto it and end the task. Your uh, desktop screen is going to go black. Do not worry, this is normal. Just head up to file, run new task and type in explore.exe like I have right here. Click OK, and everything should return to normal on your desktop, including those missing icons. If they're still not visible for you, try restarting your computer. That will reset everything and should apply any changes that have been made. Now on to method two. This involves the command prompt, like I said earlier. But first, we are going to have to open up Task Manager and close explore.exe. This is normally in the app section of Task Manager, but if it isn't, just scroll through and it should appear somewhere on this list. Right click onto it and end the task. Once again, your desktop is going to appear blank, so uh, just ignore it. It is normal. Head up to File, run a new task, and type in CMD. This will open up the command prompt. And once we're in here, copy and paste the following commands, which I have in the description down below for your convenience. First, we're going to CD to the local folder of app data. Once we're in here, we're going to delete the file labeled iconcache.db with this command. And once that is done, all we have to do is exit out of the command prompt. Now back in the task manager, head up to file once again, run new task, and type in explore.exe like I have right here. Click OK, and everything on your desktop should return to normal, including those icons that you see right here. Once again, if they did not appear um, like you see them right here, just restart your computer and everything should return to normal. And that about does it for this method. Unfortunately, with method two, I was not able to show the icons reappearing because I fixed it with the first method, but you'll have to take my word, it does work just as well as that first method. Now for both methods, if for whatever reason you cannot find an icon cache file, it either means that you have recently deleted it and it has not reappeared yet, or that changes have not been applied yet after a restart. Um, sometimes the icon cache will not appear if you have not restarted your computer and you've deleted it for whatever reason, or it has been deleted by the system. So just try restarting your computer before, uh, before using any of these methods. If it still doesn't appear, it is probably a larger issue with your computer that I unfortunately cannot help you with in this video. If you do have any issues with the file not appearing, uh, let me know in the comments and I will direct you to some uh, video resources that you can watch that will hopefully help you out. Other than that, that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this tutorial, uh, leave them also in the comments down below. And uh, any ideas for future videos, be sure to leave those down below. Other than that, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.